So I've been looking for an alternative to just a wire antenna like an end-fed half-wave when I'm operating portable. I wanted something that's quick to deploy that I can just get on the air very, very quickly. And this is where this comes in. This is a Mad Dog coil. This is a Wolf River coil alternative that's out there. This is made in Australia by Marty, VK4KC. And uh, he sent me one today to have a look at. And he sent me actually two. Uh, there's an 80 meter version and a 40 meter version as well. So what is a Mad Dog coil? Well, a Mad Dog coil is basically a loaded coil which uh, has an adjustable collar here that you can adjust up and down to tune for uh, the correct impedance or the correct SWR. Um, and you have a tap-off point here or a thread, sorry, at the top here where you can attach a wire or you can also attach something like this, a vertical, telescopic vertical antenna. And there's a little coupler here which just goes on to the top of this coil. And the idea behind it is, is that you can, here at the bottom, uh, mount it on either a tripod or you could mount it onto a ground spike or something like that. And it's very versatile and you can have your whip out the top and you can get this deployed within a very, very short amount of time. And just looking here at the bottom of this particular coil here, the cap actually unscrews and there's a little threaded nut there. Here's another spare that I've got, but it's actually supplied with a blank spare. And I've drilled out the blank spare on my coil so that I can mount this on top of the tripods. Here there's a BNC connection, which is where you attach your coax to your radio. And then there's two banana plugs here. There's a black banana plug which goes off to a counterpoise. Uh, so I've got a counterpoise wire here which I've made up. This is something that's not supplied, but it is something that uh, I made up. So there's, I think there's about five counterpoise wires here and they're about four and a half meters each with a little banana plug on the end. And we connect that into the black wire. On the red wire here, there is some banana plugs or banana adapter here which is supplied, you connect that to the red on the banana plug there at the bottom of the feed point and red here on the tap off point. And then the idea behind this is that you would then um, mount this, put your vertical up and tune using the collar here to find the best SWR. So the two versions that are available are the 40 meter and the 80 meter. The 40 meter comes with 72 turns of wire here, and the 80 meter version has 107 turns of wire. There are also two versions of each coil. So here at the top, there is a M10, a 10 millimeter threaded uh, adapter, which, or threaded, sorry, bolt, which is at, here at the top. Now, you can also get an Imperial version, and the Imperial version comes with a 3 8 inch um, bolt at the top as well. So if, if you're buying these, you can get these uh, with metric or Imperial on the top. That's also another thing to note is, is these are shipping internationally as well. Marty is now selling these at maddogcoils.com.au. And if you go to his website, he's got the prices there and you can, I think they're only about $100, $100 or something for the 40 meter version. I might be wrong now, I just need to double check, but I'll display it up on the screen at the current pricing, um, which is even cheaper if you're in the US because of the bad Australian dollar at the moment. The, the build quality is really, really good. You can see here that there are threads that have been cut out into the plastic and the wire sits really, really nicely in that thread which uh, makes it look really, really robust. Well, it actually is robust. And uh, the collar is easy to adjust here with this wing nut. You can just adjust it up and down to find the correct tap point for the band that you wanna be operating on. You also get another collar, and this is quite important too, because this other collar, you can use it for multiple bands. So if you're, I'm running here 40 meters today, but if you wanted to run 40, and then you also wanted to quickly switch to 20, rather than having to adjust the coil up to just switch over to 20, if you do your tuning before you set up, you can put this collar on and then just change the banana plug over and it's as simple as that. And the good thing about these is that if you open them up, they'll actually go over the coil and then you can reattach them again. So it's really, really easy to uh, put over the existing coil already and to uh, have multiple bands going at the same time. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna test this out today I'm going to uh, install it here on the tripod. I've already tapped out, as I said on the bottom here, the correct thread for my tripod. All I've done is I've just threaded out that here in the top of the, the tripod. I've got the correct bolt. Um, so all I've got to do is just screw that on. And I've already leveled up my tripod, screw that on. That's done up tight. 
And now I can add my whip on the top. So I'll also install my coax. Also pop that on, that's real easy. And let's put the whip up. Now this is a very long whip. You can get these off of AliExpress, I believe. Uh, there's more information on Marty's website, but just having a look here, it, it extends out a long way. So I think these are five point four meter long whips. So very, very good for operating on HF. You get that little bit of extra length. Um, as I mentioned before, you can put a bit of wire on the top of this as well. So you could, if you have a, um, a telescopic, uh, what are they called, squid poles or a, or a telescopic pole, you could definitely go and use one of those to install onto the top um, the wire and then maybe have your telescopic pole with your wire attached to the side of it too. So it's very, very versatile, which is fantastic. I didn't actually look to see if I've got a tree above me, which I actually do, but that's okay. It's not really in the way. And bang, we're ready to go. So now all I've got to do is just hook up my antenna analyzer, which I'm going to do using my rig expert. This is the first time finally that I've gotten to use my rig expert, the stick 500. I'm going to try 40 meters first and uh, we'll see how that goes. 7.1 megahertz with a 5 megahertz span. There's a nice quite pronounced dip there. Let's just reduce the span a little bit down to 1 meg. It looks like we're not in the band so we're a little bit a little bit on the low side there. So let's adjust the tap now. So I'm going to adjust the tap. I'm going to adjust it down just a little bit. I'm going to start at the bottom. We'll do another scan. So that's adjusted it even lower. So we need to go up a little bit. So let's try there. So we're looking for that that dip to be in the middle line there. So let's keep on going. Ooh, now we're getting now we're getting good. So that's a two and a half megahertz span. Let's just reduce it down to 500 kilohertz, which is getting a nice little sweep there. Oh, gone too far. Okay, we need to go back down. So a little bit of tuning involved and we're getting under one and a half to one 1.1.42 here so 1.42 1.39 that's not too bad that'll be good enough for what we want to do so that took all of about a couple of minutes so let's go and plug it up to the radio and let's make some contacts that's the problem with filming while you're uh, supposed to be trying to demonstrate an antenna is I didn't have the counterpoise wires on when I did my tuning did I so now that we've got the counterpoise wires on, you can see that I've got them laid out on the ground there, just going in either direction. So I've got my 7300 here today. Decided to bring the 7300 along, a bit more power. And I've got my, my Wallaby battery, my LiPo 4 Wallaby 30 amp hour battery. So um, if you actually wanna get one of these batteries, um, they're on eBay in VK, and I'll put a link in the description. CQ, 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 CQ Park, CQ Parks, Victor Kilo 7, Hotel, Hotel, Victor Kilo 7, Hotel, Hotel, calling CQ Parks and listening. Uh, VK3 PF, g'day there Peter, I thought that you'd be uh, the first one back, you're a 5x5, 5 5, 55, QSL. Yeah, Roger, uh, Hayden, uh, good to hear you, uh, about 5 inch there, 57 and 57 to Churchill today, over. Yeah, QSL the 5 by 7 thanks very much uh, there, Peter. And, yeah, I'm in uh, Victor Kilo stroke, uh, sorry, dash 6406. Yeah, just uh, testing a new antenna out this morning, over. Uh, the antenna's uh, one of Marty, VK4KC's uh, Mad Dog Coils, over. Uh, vertical, vertical antenna. It's just a uh, a five meter vertical whip uh, with a loading coil at the bottom. Over. VK5 India Sierra. VK5 India Sierra. A uh, good signal. You are five by seven fifty seven. Uh, Ian, I think it is over. Yeah, good day to you. I've just forgotten the name. I'm sorry. You're about a five and five to me. Fifty five over. 
Yeah, QSL on the 5x5, five five. yeah, the name here is Hayden. Hotel Alpha Yankee Delta Echo November Hayden, over. Well, I should have known that, Hayden. And anyway, nice to say good day, mate. Good luck, enjoy the day. So far, that is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven contacts on 40 metres, which is good. So what I might do is I might switch over to 20 metres and see how that goes. VK2, India, Oscar. Ah, VK2, India Oscar. You're a nice and strong signal. Uh, five by nine, five by nine there, um, over. Yeah, good morning, Hayden. Uh, section five and nine. Five and six here, five and six in Sydney. No, here's Gerard. Gerard, up. VK4, Tango Juliet. VK4, Tango Juliet, I missed your... Um, your uh, your signal strength there, John. Uh, so I'll go again on the next over. Um, go ahead. Yeah, QSL. I'll give you the same five and five. So uh, excellent. Thank you very much for the uh, for the contact and uh, good to get you in the log. Oh, Victor Kilo 6, excellent. Uh, hello, Anthony, I think it is. You are 5 by 2, 52. You just come up on that last um, over. Uh, yeah, 5 by 2, over. I know there's another station calling there, but you're way, way down in the noise. Uh, very hard to copy. Uh, just try again. Uh, VK7, hotel, hotel, listening. Four by one, four by one, four by one, QSL. QSL the three one, QSL the three one, QSL, QSL, seventy three forty four, over. Kilo six, Lima Mike Kilo, cracking signal, five by seven, five by seven. I think the name's Lance, over. Hey there, Roger Hayden. Um, you're a uh, five by five, small amount of uh, QSB. I've just started the uh, photo game myself, but unfortunately I've got to talk to pretty much you guys, so there's not many guys over here that um, do photo either hunting or activating. It's very limited here, over. Yeah, Roger, five by one, five by one, fifty one, five by one there, Marty, over. Thanks very much, I'll let you go, 73, 73. So that was Marty, VK4KC. Oh, here we go, someone else. VK7LTD. Hey there, Tony, I didn't expect you to uh, to pop up. Uh, five by nine, easy, over. Now, it's the completely wrong time of the day for 80 metres, but I thought that I'd put the 80 metre coil on, and I've just tapped it off there at the bottom with the whip all the way ex fully extended. And I didn't even have to try very hard. I've got a 3.650 megahertz, 1.08 SWR. There's the 100 kilohertz bandwidth. So, um, yeah, that, uh, that was literally took, I think, about 30 seconds to get going on the air on 80. So, um, very, very easy indeed. This basically bends over and goes over the, the coil. So I can pop that on there to have two taps on here now on this 80 meter coil. So what I can do is I can now change my tap to 40 meters and tune this one in 
So I've got an 80 meter tap and I've got a 40 meter tap and you can have this for various different bands. You could have a 40 meter tap and 20 meter tap, 40 and 15, etc. So um, I'm gonna try 40 now. So I'll just grab the analyzer. Okay, so we wanna go up a little bit more, I think we're a bit low. Let's go about three quarters, nearly there. Probably just needs to go up a little bit more on the tapping. And there we go, 1.27 to 1. So there we got the double taps. So now I can easily switch between 80 and 40 really, really easily. So uh, yeah, impressive looking things. I'm actually going away in a couple of months time and I'm gonna activate another park. And I was debating about whether to bring a wire antenna or that sort of thing, um, which can be difficult to deploy in some situations. I wanted something that was fast to deploy and set up. And that's exactly what this antenna is. It was uh, really, really quick and easy to set up. The other thing uh, which is also versatile about them is this bottom plug. So um, the fact that you can take this off and replace it with other threads or other mounts that you want makes it really really versatile so um, there's also a, a lug here on the bottom which is what comes with the coil um, as well as the spare but what's installed on here is another lug which allows you to bypass the bnc feed point so you can put a banana plug which i've got here and you can go directly from there to the coil and bypass the feed point and this is handy if you've got another feed point or you just want to feed the bottom of this coil rather than through the the bnc there as well uh, i've also got a magnetic base coming to which i'm going to mount this uh, antenna to so that i can mount it on the top of my vehicle for if i want to do um, an activation from there uh, wouldn't be strong enough of course for mobile or actually driving uh, while you're driving but uh, the magnetic base can just uh, bolt on there you can sit it up on top of the roof put the whip up coax into the car um, into your radio in the car and, and you're on the air so um, that's what it's all about it's all about it being um, quick easy to use on the air and that's exactly what this is so um, check it out maddogcoils.com.au uh, Marty VK4KC, excellent stuff, well done, and uh, hopefully we see quite a few of these getting on the air soon. So this antenna is ideal for parks on the air activations. If you want to learn more about parks on the air, then there is some videos that will appear on the screen here that you might want to check out.